Okay, but the last day we were discussing about uh, the programming sequence, selection and repetition control structures. And I have given you some homework, if you can remember. So I have given you some homework. Today I'll go through the book again, your textbook again and again. And just summarize that we have learned, right? What we have learned up to now and where we are now. Because I was using my own note. We have to check according to your book where we are. So we have to check that. So let's uh, do that after analyzing this work. In today's uh, lesson, we have learned about the first three control structure, basic three control structures. In programming, you have three control structures, sequence, selection, repetition. Sequence is basically instructions are executed one after another. Selection is where you have to select a path from some alternatives. And then you can see the multiple selection methods we learn. Then came to the repetition. Repetition is applied where you want to do the same thing again and again and repeat. Repetition comes when you want to do the same thing again and again and again and repeat it forming a loop or ring. So that is it. Okay. So then, right. So then the repetition, we learn a few examples, how to print out numbers, even numbers, all are through the same loop, we learned that. And finally, I have given you an exercise to print some patterns. How many of you have done that? Have you done that? Lavanya, Metsani. Yes. Have you done I that? Tried to, uh, Sorry. I tried to do it, but uh, I couldn't uh, make it uh, correctly. Right. It didn't work. Okay, right. No matter, let's try it today. But uh, the thing is that the homework, you have to try your level best if it is not working. So better if you can send me a message. Right, better you can send me a message. Uh, then, uh, then I can help you. That's why, right? Anyway, okay, let's start. How many of you have done? Yeah. Only two patterns, right? Good, Timasha. Okay, let's learn. Let's learn to do that. I'll give you time, but let's learn one by one, right? First of all, let's go to the online Pascal compiler and I would like to write the first pattern. So before that, I would like to give you some guidance. Okay, so let's say you have a variable. Va k is integer. In this integer k variable, what I'm going to do is for k equal 1 to 10, do I'm going to print some stars. Print some stars. Okay, done. So you can see it's giving an error. Why is that? I have used single quotation, right? That's my mistake. Okay, you can see it's giving, again giving an error. Print, P-R-I, ah, right there, all right. So you can see it's printing stars, 10 stars. But if I do right L-N, it will print stars downwards. Right will print horizontally, right L-N will print downwards. So what happened if I do something like this then? So let's say you have two variables, k and j. And I'm telling, okay, one loop for j equal 1 to 10 do begin. And inside that, I'm going to begin. And inside that, I'm going to write the other part. Okay, so let's say in the first one, I'm going to just write 
this one. The second one I'm going to write right a length. So this you have to understand carefully, right? So it's like this. Now we have loop inside loop, a nested loop. Loop inside loop. Okay, the first loop going 10 times. It's repeating 10 times, right? Inside that, I have another loop. Let's draw in another color. Inside this, I have another loop. This will repeat another 10 times. Then actually 10 into 10, this entire loop, a double loop, will repeat 100 times. So what will happen? First, we'll ask, go inside, OK? Second, we'll print 10 asterisks, 10 asterisks horizontally. How? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Horizontally. After that, it come out. And the second one say, right tell it, go to the next line. Again, come to the beginning, the second prime. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 10. Next, again, it says, go down. Again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So it says, go down. So likewise, now what will happen? This will print 10 into 10, 100 asterisks. You can see. 10, after that, go to the next line. The first loop. So first loop, I can highlight it. This is first loop, right? This is, OK, this is what belongs to the first loop. And so let's use another color. This is what belongs to the second loop. Second loop packet IT with a mammy. Second loop packet a right take with a right. Only right belongs to the second loop. Only right belongs to the second. Only right belongs to the second loop. The first loop has the entire dream section. Right? First loop, the green color, the second loop, orange color. The orange color one will happen 100 times. That's why 100 stars. Okay, now I have given the tip. That my own idea I can do. Can we do that now? I have given the idea. Can we do that now? Shall we try? Mitsani? Okay. okay. I'll give you five minutes, exactly five minutes. Just give a try with it. Just give a try. You know the patterns, right? Ah, uh, 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 not this, not this, sorry. The patterns are this. This indicate the patterns. These are the patterns. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Five, five. See, these are the patterns. Just give a try. Clear it now, please. How many of you have done that? No one. Right, now, now you can do this. Okay. So let's see. So what's the pattern? Identify the pattern. So it's the matter. It's only a matter of identifying the pattern. That's all. It's so only a matter of identifying the pattern. So in the pattern today, this uh, you can see it's increasing number of stars. No one star, two star, three star, four star, five star. It's increasing number of stars. So what you have to do to get the increasing number of stars, you have to increase this. Not the constant. The ten is constant. 10 is constant, it's not increasing. But if you put j, what will happen? So what is the value of j first time? Come on, guys, you have to talk. First time value of j is? Yes. Value of j in the first time is? OK, no value. Let's print it. Right, J. Now tell me the value of J. If I write J, what will be printed? Timasha. Yes, what will be printed if I write J? Nothing will be printed. According to Timasha, it seems right. Okay, Mensani, what will be printed if I print J now? J equal 1 to 10, write J. So what will be printed? Can you hear me, guys? Yes, sir. 
Okay, what will be printed if I print J from 1 to 10? I'm just printing J. Value of J. So what is the value of J? 1. Yeah, first time 1. Then up to which number? Up to what? Up to 10, right? 10. Yeah, it's printing 1 to 10. That's all. A simple answer. It's printing 1 to 10. Very, very simple answer. I'm asking to print 1 to 10. Okay. Now, instead of this write J, so I'm adding another set. Here, I'm printing 1 to J. First time J is 1. So, 1 to 1. 1 to 1. So, 1 star. Second time J is Yes, second time J is, first time J is 1, second time J is, yes, 2, two. then 1 to 2, then 2 stars, Th third time J will be 3, then 1 to 3, 3 stars, likewise what will happen, each time <coughs> it will print, okay, 1 stars, 2 stars, 3 stars, 4 stars, 5 stars, likewise, because J is increasing. J is increasing. So it's printing from 1 to, <coughs> one to 10. That's all. Did you understand or not? Understand, sir. Okay, then uh, shall if I remove this, uh, then it will print only stars, right? It will print only start. If I make it 5, my question will be answered. So that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 stars. So this is the question. It says you need one, two, three, four, five stars, and this is the answer. It says one, two, three, four, five. That's all. Okay, write that, do that, and try to change that to the next format. Make a karala, ila make a balanda. Try to do the other one. Okay, first of all, write that as the answer. Do that, then only you will know how to practice. Then Try the next one. Okay, do that now. Right. So this is easy. First one we saw how to get that. Right. Then the second one. This is first one and the second one. Second one, that is also not difficult. Okay, let's go to the last one. Last one. So last one, you can see this is increasing asterisk. One, two, three, four, five. So this results increase in asterisk. Ready, we know how. So if I want decrease in asterisk, so I can try like this. Make them one to J and in that increase when one to J, one to one, one to two, one to three. So let's say if it is going from one to six, one to five, you can see starting five. Then I have to reduce. So let's say 5 minus j. Now what will happen? Initial or oh, 6 minus j. Initially j will be 1. So 6 minus j is 5. j 1 with the 6 minus j is 6 minus 1 is 5. 6 minus j the second time it will be 6 minus 2, 4. Next 6 minus 3, 3. 6 minus 4, 2. 6 minus 5, 1. And 6 minus 6, 0. So you can see it is decreasing stars because 6 minus 1 is 5, 6 minus 2 is 3, 4, 6 minus 3 is 3, 6 minus 2 is uh, 2, uh, so 6 minus 4 is 2, 6 minus 5 is 1. So this will happen 5 times. So J will increase up to 5, so 6 minus 5 will be 1 as 3. So 5 to 1, so this is another one. 1 to 5 is another one and 5 to 1. So so let's uh, integrate both and you can write to both here. So first one goes from 1 to 5 and second one goes from 5 to 1. You can get this printed both will be so like this. And so let's add a separator between this right and then and that will give a clear separation Then 1 to 5, 5 to 1. Okay, the second one is 5 to 1. So then the third one so that is easy now. Then the third one, actually in the third one or the, sorry, second one, let's take the second one or third one, this one. 
You can see they are, you cannot see actually, but you have to imagine. So what is in front of this asterisk? May asterisk will is What is in front of this asterisk? Yes. What is in front of this asterisk? What can you see here? Before the asterisk, you have something. What is this something? Lavanya. What is this something? Kasun. Dasuni. Before asterisk. Okay. asterisk. Ah, spaces. Spaces. Yes. Only Mitsan is answering. What about the others? Why you can't turn on the mics and answer? That is bad habit, right? You have to practice. Try to answer the questions, even though it no, doesn't matter it's wrong or right. So spaces, spaces, right? Spaces. So you can see decreasing number of spaces, decreasing number of spaces. It's reducing, starting from maybe four space, four, three, two, one space. It's reducing. So what you can do, you can write a loop, another loop. Inside this now, three loops to give this get this done. So the first, this is bigger loop. Inside that's a smaller loop, printing spaces. Spaces are reducing. So let's say initially five minus one space, that is four. Five minus two, three spaces. After spaces, let's increase the number of, increase in number of asterisks. Decrease in number of spaces and increase in the first time. So here, Five minus one, four spaces, one, one, one asterisk, four spaces, one asterisk. Second time, five minus two, three spaces, two asterisks, five minus three, two spaces, three asterisks, five minus four, one space, four asterisks, five minus five, zero spaces. Five strings. Okay, let's run this now. Interestingly, it will add uh, this one. Okay, one, two. Uh, we have pasted another one. Did we? Yes, we have. Let's see, does that. Okay, now we can see one to five, five to one, uh, increase in spaces, decrease in spaces, increase in asterisk. Then the last one or the second one will be very easy. Just copy and paste the same. Only one change after asterisk you have space. Space second asterisk here put a space. And that will give you the last pattern, which is the tree pattern. I hope everything is clear to you now. Right? So let's copy down the then an awesome activity. What is that? Copy down, right? You have to copy down, not in the string. Come on, come on, let's be quickly copy down. But that is not recommended, right? So what you have to do is not take in the string shots. What you need to do is practice, right? Practice, practice and practice. Practice harder, that's what needed. Okay, go through these things quickly today and finish it. Like, Quickly copy paste and edit the loops, right? You can copy paste, not from my screen. If you have written the first code, you can copy that code and few times paste it and edit the code now. Right, uh, let's go to the book now. So I just want to tell where we are. So that is basic need of us. We need to know actually where we are by now. So let's go to the English medium reading book. So because some parts actually I have not explained properly. So because I went according to my own curriculum. So but there are some minor things to be discussed. Okay, let's start the lesson and go to this lesson from the beginning. So this is a bonus for you. Because uh, if you miss some lessons, then here I'm revising the game very quickly within 20 minutes, right? Okay. So in this chapter, we learn about how to analyze a problem. So problem is something to be solved, right? Problem is something to be solved. In order to solve the problem, you need to identify the inputs, process, and outputs. 
So input are the things which you are going to take from the external world or from the users. So output is what you're going to produce to them and the process is in between activities that you're going to do. Okay, so there are a number of examples, including writing letter, preparing a cup of tea, or dividing a, uh, books between two sisters or two siblings. Just go and read out them. And these are general examples where you can understand the inputs and the activities performed as well as the output. So this is basic requirement when we are solving a problem. You need to know about the inputs, outputs, and the processes. That's all. And then we learn that there are alternative ways of solving a problem. For an example, think about this same example. So what we have done here is just using the for loop. But you can do the same thing again without using for loop just by using a while loop. Maybe you can say k or j equal one and k equal one. Then you can say while j less than or equal to five do then begin and end in between you are writing these and k writing like this and still this will work and give you the expected output. Oh, 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 stop or stopping. So you have to tell one more thing inside this that is j equal j plus one. Okay, now you can see one, two, three, four, five, six. This is using some alternative way. That means the same problem can be solved using multiple alternative ways, like solving a puzzle. There are alternatives. Anyway, to solve a problem, we have to find out a methodology, right? So let's say there's a problem, finding a perimeter of a rectangle. So you can keep adding length width, a length width four times, which give the answer, length into two, width into two, add them, will give the perimeter, and length and width plus both added and then multiplied by two, that will also give the answer. So same problem will have multiple answers for multiple solutions. So how we solve a problem using a systematic method, a systematically crafted method of solving a problem, this is step-by-step -step instructions, is called an algorithm. Algorithm is called trauma vedya. Piyavari, piyavara hadapu trauma vedya, prashnaya prisandana. To solve a problem, if we have a methodology which is crafted step by step, step by step, one by one, so that is an algorithm. We learn about that. So any algorithm has three control structures. So it can be one or more such control structures. So anyway, primitively, for any kind of programming language, we have to learn three kind of control structures. The first one is sequence and selection repetition. As the image indicates, sequence is just following step by step, one by one, one after the another. It's ordered way of writing an algorithm to solve a problem one after another. It's like climbing a ladder or climbing steps. One after another, oh, you are moving grade one to grade 11, one, two, three, four, up to 11. But in grade 11, you have to select either to do maths, to well, do um, science, or do commerce, or technology, or arts, multiple ways, but you have to select one way out of these multiple paths. Paths go up to, you know, we call selection. And if you do the same thing again and again, like a loop, we call that repetition. Doing the same thing again and again, repetitively, is called repetition. So that is what we have learned. OK, we learned this is example for selection. We learned this is example for repetition. Repeating the things again and again. This is a loop, for loop, while loop, do while loop, or repeat until loop came under this part. Then comes. A symbolic way of planning 
or symbolic way to represent an algorithm that is called a flowchart. So why flowcharts? We learn the language or the natural language is uh, is having a property called ambiguity, and you need to explain it with multiple words. Maybe it's lengthy and difficult to understand, and it might be confusing too. To solve this, the symbolic language is introduced. So it's very easy to write this algorithm using the symbols. It is simple. Anyone can understand. Less confusing because the symbols itself having meanings. The symbol rectangle or the rounded rectangle, the meaning of that is start or end. Then the parallelogram, the meaning of that is basically input or output. Then the rectangle is a process and decision, then connector and all. So these are the things. We learn this symbolic language and how to represent flowchart. You can see how to calculate the radius or the area of circle. Input the radius, calculate the area, output the area. Input, process, output, start and end in between. So you can say input, process, and output. So here you have a selection. So please note that in selection control structure, no loops, even though it seems like loops, no, 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 you can't go up. It's only one direction, no way to come back. So that is why this is just selection. The difference between selection and difference between selection and repetition is that in selection, no loops, only alternatives, this path is uh, one path and this path is another path. This is an alternative path. This is another path, an alternate. It has alternative path. So that's it. But no loops. But in repetition, you can see a continuing paths or repeating paths. So you can see arrows moving up and forming a cycle, which is called a loop. It's forming a cycle. You can see that is why for repetition. This is not even though this decision symbol is there, this is not selection, this is repetition. It's going round away. So that's why the repetition. Okay, so that's it. Then we came to pseudocodes or fake codes. So these are some command words, or these are some structured English words. We are not going to write big paragraphs to explain the problem or explain the algorithm. Instead of that, we write few letters, few words, simple few words. So that is called pseudocode. It's not actual code, but just showing how the instruction here. Begin input radius. The area equal to 27, 22 divided by 7 into radius radius. This is 2, oh sorry, 5 r square. 5 r square. 5 is uh, 22 upon 7, so that's 5. Radius, radius, that is r square, and that is the area. So simple way of representing the chord. Here, selection, a simple way of telling or do even. If remainder if numbers, number is divided by 2 and find the remainder. Then, if remainder is 0, even, otherwise, or so the input number, number ka input karla, they came with the itriya bindu na even, itriya ka number. So this is selection. And this is repetition, repeating, repeat until the numbers are over. So you just calculate the total of some numbers. Input the number, add it to the total. Input the number, add it to the total. Repeating this until the numbers are over. So repetition. After that, we learn how to convert pseudocode, sorry, flowchart to the pseudocode. How to convert flowchart to the pseudocode. So please go through this with go through this again and again, and try to understand what we have learned and whether you understood the lesson. So now we are in page number 17. So we learned the variables. There are rules when defined these identifiers. So identifier means any name that we can use, any name that we can use, to introduce variable, a function, anything in programming. If we introduce words, those are called identifiers. Again, programmer we see by the programmer. Programmer we see 
programmer is in Hamunma, then a vachana. Api keno identifiers. These identifiers are having rules. What are they? The rules are need to be started with a letter. It can be English alphabetic letter, capital, or symbol. Need to start with the letter. Then the second thing. So need to start with the letter. The second thing is you cannot use numbers. You cannot use numbers. In the beginning, but in the middle and the end, yes, possible. Patanga and the good numbers bear, Madha Sahavasane, Puluma. Patanga and the good numbers bear, Madha Avasane. Right after you can see. Okay. In the middle and in the end, so possible. But in the beginning, not possible, right? But you can use underscore, that is a special symbol. Other than underscore, these special symbols are restricted. You can't use them. These are special symbols, but you can't use them. These are restricted. In identifier names, are that the year is identifier name, right? It can be started with a simple letter, capital letter, numbers down pull or mother, other underscore pull one. Have a venom special symbol. And also remember that you are not. Allowed to keep spaces. Average marks is wrong. Why? Space is there. Dollar 75 is wrong. Why? The dollar is there. Nine day is wrong. Why? It start with a number. Last name is wrong. Why? Dash in the middle. But some these are correct identifiers. Then you have to keep on keep in mind the reserved words. So some language words are reserved. You can't use that for other purposes. There are specific purposes or specific role for these words. For an example, let's go to our program. You can see this program, va, begin, while, begin, for, do, to, and these are special words, print, write, and length. These are special words. You, you can't use that for some other purpose. For an example, if you say begin here, just begin here, then it will confuse. What is this begin? You can't tell like that. Begin equal 10. So then it will ask, what is this begin? So no, 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 you can't use like that. Those are reserved words. You can't use that as you wish. No. So these are reserved for special purposes. So remember not to use these words as identifiers. Don't use this reserved word as identifiers. No need to buy hard. Maybe exam but no need to buy hard and remember all these things. Okay, then the data types. We learned the integers, all numbers, negative or positive integers, full numbers, or fractional values, decimal numbers, point, point, like floating point numbers, like these are called real data type. Integer data type, we all know. Integer data type, we have practiced a lot these are integers, all numbers. But real data type is decimals. If you find total average, you need real. Boolean is for logic. Yes, no type, true, false type. It's logic. Cha is a character. Cha is a character. It's for character values. Right? Then comes cha is a character, character value. And then comes mm, these strings. String is a collection of string is a collection of characters. String is a collection of characters. So, right, string is a sequence of characters or set of characters, whereas characters, this characters, these are single characters. String is like a sequence of characters. So, these are also, so we haven't used much, but integers we have used a lot. Real we have used, but Boolean, char, string, still we have not used much. So, strings can, comes under single quotation, right? It's not under double quotation, single quotation. Let's use this in for the Huge examples, and we can learn more about these variables, right? And the variables, you know, the change in values. So, 
variable is basically it's like a bucket i gave example a mug a mug can, can contain different amount of uh, liquid maybe tea let's say tea mug Sorry, I got a message. Right, then, uh, so let's uh, think about this. So let's say this mug is your tea mug and it can have full amount or maybe half or quarter. So different, different levels. So these levels can be changed time to time. Take up the inner water mixture, the hello and at one view, what you want to pass the mixture, right? Likewise, time to time, it can have different, different, different values. But the placeholder or this mark remain unchanged. So similar to that, a variable here count is a variable. So A is a variable, B is a variable, N1, N2, average, pass, character, name, school, all are variables. How many variables here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 variables are here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, ten variables are here. These variables are like these months can be used to keep changing value. So it's a placeholder. It's a placeholder or place in a memory. It's a memory allocation or a area of the memory which is named, and a changing value can be kept inside that. Constant, so in the other hand, those are unchanging. Unchanging. Pi is 22 divided by 7. Max is 100. Unchanging. Not changing. These are called constants. So then the operations, different type of operations we learn throughout the program. So addition, division. Subtraction and multiplication. Do and not be didn't learn that. We learn that in. So then we learn about the comparison, greater than, less than these things. So, but some of these we have not used today. We learn about that also. And the logical operations. We learn this in the logic gate part in our grade 10 lesson, but we didn't learn this properly in Haskell. So I invite you to go through, um, go up to page number, uh, page number 20, yeah, 28. So please, next day when you come, please read up to page number 28 and come if you have any errors. So let's discuss that next any difficult areas we'll discuss page number 28 so next two weeks we are going to finish pascal but before that i will promise that i will cover the missing things there are some areas we didn't complete so those areas we need to cover that i will do next day okay for today i'll stop from here next day i'll discuss from page number 21 and up to 30 but before that you have to you need to look at the lesson and how okay then good night see you all next week today thank you sir good night. thank you sir